What up, folks? Look, I decided to do something a little different. I'm taking a video um, from this past weekend's race out at Roger Milliken in the city of Brea, and I'm just going to go over it, show you, or talk about what I see from the Pro 1 2 race in the finale. So have a look. What up, what up? Thanks for joining me here. I'm just going to go over this race and what I see. Uh, it was exciting to watch. I always love when Justin and Corey put these videos out. Um, so you're looking at Elevate KHS with four laps to go at the Roger Milliken Grand Prix in Brea, California. Uh, this is a race I've done plenty of times. This is a newer course. Uh, I like the old one better, about a K long. Uh, KHS is lining up for Corey, who has been the proven winner in SoCal so far this year. I believe he's won every single crit um, he's entered. Right there you saw number 33. I think that's Brian McCullough give the SoCal cycling guy a little nudge. And then he gives his teammate a little push to get back in there to keep the tempo high which some people would say that's illegal, you can't push a teammate. Anyway, whatever. And then right here, this is a savvy little move by McCull. I put it in slow motion so you can look at it again. It wasn't anything blatant, but just enough to move the SoCal cycling guy away. Um, I've been in a situation, it's a little annoying to have someone next to you all the time. However, it's perfectly legal for that SoCal cycling guy to be there. Um, and if I were him, I would have never given up. I would have fought a little harder to disrupt the lead out of KHS Elevate. So here they are two laps ago. They're kind of chopping it up, and uh, there's riders coming back. Um, you see the bicycle, our LA Bicycle Club kind of representing up there. I'm not sh exactly sure who that is. Um, but now KHS is down to three guys. They are coming out of the last corner with one lap to go, and now they only have two guys with uh, Corey in tow. That's a long way for two guys. They would have to go upwards of 55, 60 Ks an hour to make sure someone like Justin doesn't come across um, and actually absolutely smoke them. So they're in bad shape right now. And if I'm Justin, I'm looking at my chops. But wait a second. Justin comes underneath and gives Corey another wheel to hold. Interesting move by Justin. Um, so I'm not sure because they are siblings. Maybe he's working for Corey. But if you remove Justin from this equation right now and put Corey in that position. He's in a really bad spot with Justin being in the permanent golden spot to win this race. This is downhill. Think about it. Right now, Corey will be alone by himself and have to sprint. Corey gives a look back, and this kind of tells me, yeah, maybe he's working for his brother. What a kick right here by Justin. Uh, I guarantee you he's in the upwards of 900 to 1,000 watts. He hits his last corner, at least going 34, 35, 36 miles an hour. Um, and it was a great jump by him. However, all he did was give his little brother a uh, pretty fast lead out. So I'm not sure of the motives there. Any way it goes, I think it's phenomenal that two brothers are absolutely dominating the crit series, the crit racing around Southern California. So that's it for now. I hope to take some more videos and give you my thoughts. You guys take care.